Welcome to another video with Crazy Segoy and we are just at the end of the tournament. It's my first time logging in and I'm trying to show you guys just what happens when you're in a Division A fleet or any other fleet really and you log in for the first time after the tournament ends. You're going to be greeted with the place that your, turn, um, your fleet rather came in which is number six you get your starbucks reward and your doves reward which is a premium currency and a sort of above premium currency which is 26 doves let's go ahead and collect that we'll load into my ship here and congratulations to march champions hydro radiance trek federation conjoint red barons phantom menace and they're announcing that their kickstarter is now live let me go ahead and reload my modules is one of the first things I like to do as soon as I log in. 1% uh, more, isn't that golden? Okay, now before I get caught up here, the very first thing I like to do right after tournament ends, you know, we're going to be at the beginning of a brand new tournament, is just to go ahead and start some upgrades going. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stat 2.1. Got to drop another uh, mineral storage here collect that oh and you should see the tournament reward in there 263 bucks and 26 doves go ahead and dismiss that now i'm at 1744 that should be uh updated um soon oh no my inbox is uh having an issue here let's hope it doesn't bug us out 2.6 mil go ahead and upgrade this level 15 one week 2.3 million minerals <laughs> my boy cold slayer shout out cold slayer <laughs> i see you in the chat all right go ahead here see if i can post um something real quick for some minerals so i can get that second upgrade going go ahead and post this scrap here for three million minerals and just really get into the video really and truly now if you haven't already if it's your first time checking out go ahead and hit the like button share comment subscribe tell your friends about it and let's go ahead and head to our dove store so to get to your dove store you go to the top left click on your bank you'll see a little uh bird icon here 164. let's see what we've got now i'm gonna go all the way down to the um special tournament crates for the participants of division a that's the medium prize for 35 doves that's not the one i want that's the small prize right there for 15 doves and here's our division a grand prize for 70 whopping doves and um if it allows me i i will get two but if it only allows one go then let's just see what we get go ahead and hit buy on that and we receive it at the top go ahead and collect that go back to my inbox not my inbox but my uh in here let me see if I can find it. There it is. Big, bright, and gold. <laughs> All right. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Let's go. Let's see what we get. Come on. Come on, orange Jesus. Open to receive. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. What is this? Oh, oh man. Oh, no. Please. Oh, man. They gave me the greaves. I'm grieving for the greaves class a greaves let me see just what that is what the stats offer i'm pretty sure the greaves is, is like you don't want to get the leg equipments of anything honestly not many crew it's uh what is this two twenty five hundred. okay so about 2k bucks there solid 2k bucks Okay, so now that we've finished looking at our tournament awards, and um, if you check my bucks amount there, you'll notice that it's been increased up to 2008. So that goes to show that my tournament rewards have been registered. I've got an increase of um, bucks and an increase of doves as well after spending the prior amount. Now, what I want to take a look at right now for you guys is just a second look at the galaxy maps for those of you that have not already seen the first video 
regarding the Galaxy Map tutorial, how to explore and just to check out everything to move from system to system, go ahead and watch that video first so that you won't be lost as we move forward into this one. And for those of you that already have, let's go ahead and get into that for you. So you're going to you're going to want to access your Galaxy Map from your bottom right of the screen. Tap on that. And as you can see here, I have explored about 90% of what I believe is available or what is accessible right now for the Galaxy Map, most of which are empty systems, but there are a few that have planets within them that and it allows for you to do a lot more pve player versus environment environment missions you can see the systems without traveling between them let me see if i can tap on them from top top left here just so you can see what's going i'm trying not to hit the travel you can go ahead and pause the video at any given time to read these descriptions or check them out how SETI the planet is unlocked you can play that five times the way it overlays on the entire star system it's a bit hard to click out of it in the closer systems once you are um, you open up the HUD so they they'll probably adjust that in the future we have four times we can do this mission explore Algol empty system empty system and just throwing you Gamma Draconis Antares, Tartarus, with Explore Tartarus three times. Ross went 28. A few missions there. Traveling along. There's five here at Ross 154, bottom right corner. There's one planet in this system, Sol, which is typically uh, Sun. That's usually in the Space Age games that I play. Sol usually, usually refers to Earth. So that looks kind of. Um, interesting let's go ahead and um, go to this one tap on the system it's level seven to eight gain intel on the federation just as i thought it is earth <laughs> this close to earth the skies are lousy with federation warships this is no place for rashness eyes peeled for security patrols you set a course where to captain are we going to infiltrate the lunar settlement which sounds like a ground mission attack trade routes or explore the lunar dark, dark side and i'm going to attack trade routes because i uh, opted for pirate ship now an endless procession of trade ships and corporate freighters flit back and forth through saul's crackling hypergate you lurk near nearby watching for civilian ships that wander too far from the safety of the pack alas a federation defense platform notice you, notices you lurking around blowing your cover and forcing you to defend yourself exclamation mark let's see what they've got preparing for battle let's see what level ship this is going to be oh, it's a level seven star base apparently go ahead and hit attack on that should be um pretty easy wrap up to be honest let's see what they've got yeah definitely this is the telespam tactic that i'm using i got a number of crew already over on this ship destroying primary systems and holding the rooms there's no power being supplied at this entire station and here comes my focus fire on that android room border droids coming in to clean up the remaining rooms and 42 hp how much hp did it have okay so it's got a lot of hp there as you can see in the top right section it takes just a second to um focus fire and beat that down let's go ahead and look at my ship for a second you know nothing too interesting happening over here back to the enemy ship or the star base rather and um in this fight you should get about 300 experience 300 or 300 plus experience points for every crew member that survives the fight and 50 percent of that to any crew member that dies so 454 experience points just like that quick and easy you've won the fight but have drawn too much attention to yourself to stick around returning from battle and we're back to our star systems let's get back into our galaxy map so essentially all i'm trying to show you here is that there are a number of systems unlocked where these systems are the fact that the previous video does work and there are a lot of systems within this galaxy in which you can do your pve missions 
and have your crew level up now wolf 359 is a good place to travel to get your missions in let me zoom out a bit just so you can see exactly where that is i'm trying to close this star system okay great now as you can see that's um, almost towards the center of the galaxy wolf 359 an unremarkable system located conveniently close to earth wolf 359 serves as neutral ground for diplomatic meetings of the three major factions so let me go ahead and explore that's a level four to five and this is level seven to eight i'm gonna go ahead with this one now the higher the level of the mission is um the more reward and um just essentially better better rewards and um higher level ships Past the narrow band of civility enforced by the Star Academy, this system is crawling with criminals, privateers, and threats yet more alien. Where to, Captain? We can explore the system reaches, we can investigate malfunctioning hypergate, we can investigate an abandoned station. Now, abandoned station sounds like something that'll give you like 100 gas or something. I'm trying to um, explore the system reaches. Beyond Wolf 359's asteroid belt, hundreds of uncharted terrestrial bodies drift in the endless half-light. A Federation bounty hunter uses the cover of a brief meteor shower to sneak up on you. He accuses you of several crimes against the Federation. <laughs> John Luke, is that you? <laughs> and shows little interest in taking you in alive. We're just gonna wipe that up. We get 454 experience points, pretty easy, and you can do that. You think this was probably a case of mistaken identity, but the bounty hunter isn't really in any position to confirm it. You can do a number of missions. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there were about uh, no less than seven systems no less right than seven systems that you can um, enter each of them with a minimum of three missions that you can do inside of them and this system is the only system i have yet to discover let me go ahead and um, leave that to travel over there and discover it on its own time that should be interesting for another time now for all these pve missions you can definitely get your crew leveled up so check it out check out the previous video to know how to unlock the galaxy system just like that and that's pretty much it for this one server eric we've got in the uh dropship today and resource crate titanium sandbag and a large mineral crate for way too much gas is what it's costing Grav loader, 700 bucks. That's pretty good. You can grab that if you need it. 700 bucks is a steal. And pretty much that is it for this one. I hope you guys had a good tournament. I hope I can look forward to seeing you guys participating in the next one. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will see you in the next one.